World title fight time. This is our tale of the tape. Zelfa Barrett taking on Shavkat Rakhimov. Barrett, 29 years old. 68 in reach, the exact same reach as Rakhimov, who is an inch and a half taller. We are scheduled for 12 championship rounds. Let's see if he fights off the back foot like he did against Kiko Martinez. Starts with an uppercut. Zelfa Barrett in the purple and gold. Rakhimov in the blue and white. He comes out blazing. I'm not sure about the power now, because it looks powerful, but the whip in the shot, fantastic. Both these guys come into this fight in tremendous shape. They have the second day weigh-in, which you have to do for IBF titles. Both came in within five pounds uh, of their pre of the 130-pound limit, so they didn't rehydrate much, which tells me they're both ready for this fight. And Barrett's going to have to throw a lot of punches, Barry, to keep Rakhimov back. Yeah, yeah and, but, and what he's doing right now, the change of direction with his feet, that's important, because Rakhimov's going to want to walk you down. But doing this there, what Barrett did just then, that little change of direction, spinning off, that's going to keep Rakhimov turning, keep him guessing, and just make it harder for him to mount his attacks. Rakhimov coming off a second round knockout over Sador Muzaffarov in December of last year. Barrett's won three of his last four fights on the scorecards following a run of three stoppage victories in four fights. Good body shots as well there from Barrett. He took one from Rakhimov and paid him back with a three-punch combination. And it's good work. One thing Rakhimov's team has said this week that they want to see, they want to see a lot of feints from their fighter. They want to be able to stay away and give Barrett something to think about when he's loading up with that lead left hook, but not seeing a lot of feints at the moment from Shavkat Rakhimov. He's just trying to intimidate him with his presence, isn't he? He's trying to make him work harder than he wants to, but a good shot there yeah, from Yeah, right off. hand. Barrett just can't afford to be stationary. Got to be a moving target. Goes downstairs. There's big power on that left hand, too. He was in a competitive fight with Eric Donovan a couple of years ago, and then Donovan just walked into a bomb from Zelda Barrett. Right hand from Barrett, but Rakhimov ate it well. You know, we saw in the Kiko Martinez fight that the longer the fight went on, the more... Whoa, nice counter shot, and that buckles Rakhimov. Look at Barrett now. The brown flash in a flash is now on the front foot. He's got to keep these punches down. long. Got to keep these punches long. You don't want to close the, the gap and get hit caught himself. Keep it nice and long, but keep the pressure on. Big confidence booster there for Barrett. He knows he can hurt Rakhimov. Yeah, just a moment ago, Barrett landed a big punch on the shoulder of Rakhimov that caused him to wince, kind of opened his mouth there in obvious pain. Heavy, heavy left hand there from Rakhimov. On the temple there of, of Barrett. And that may just turn the temperature up on Rakhimov a little bit. That was low. He's Barrett's going to try and take advantage of it. Rakhimov's hurt. He said it was low. Defend yourself at all times. Barrett's done nothing wrong there. You know, he can't you know, let your hands go. The referee don't call it. You've got to throw. So this has not been the best round for Rakhimov. Got caught with a sharp counter shot and then got hit with a low blow and got beat up a little bit while he was trying to recover. Yeah, and he's doing too much head hunting right now. The best way to slow down a guy that's moving is to aim for the body. And Rakhimov is all upstairs at the moment. No! Oh, big right hand! And that sends Rakhimov down! And I'm sure the message in Rakhimov's corner right now is go get him. Yeah, I was just talking to Freddie Roach. He said he told him, you got to be busy. Ooh, there's that uppercut again, and Rakhimov's on the back foot. Complaining about low blows. You just can't miss him with that uppercut. What a start for the brown flash. You know, Zelfa Barrett's one of those fighters 
that just knows who he is. He's not going in there trying to trade with you. He knows he's a counterpuncher, and he knows he's powerful with those counterpunches. That is the head movement. Where's, the, where's that been for four rounds? This is what this is what Rakamov trained for, though. Feints, head movement. They wanted to show a lot of different looks, but we haven't seen that for the first four rounds. But again, though, you know, you look to the opposition, you know, that that Barrett has faced, what they would they would feel. And think he's not a big he's not a big puncher. I could walk right through him, and it was a mistake. Good body shot. He felt that. That was a right hand from Rakimov. Rakimov has won 11 of his last 13 fights by stoppage. So he's confident, even if he's behind on the scorecards, he can still get Barrett out of there, who's now stationary in the corner. Again, he had him where he wanted him. There, Rakimov, he didn't use, he didn't use that pivot on the front foot. He, you know, he, if he goes to the side a little bit, he opens with that body there for that left uppercut. Oh, what a counter right hand. One of the best of the fight for Barrett. And that may have hurt Rakimov. And it wasn't the right up because this time it's a lovely straight right hand on the right on the gap. And now Rakimov coming forward again. He welcomes those exchanges when Barrett slows down. Let him off the hook there. But Rakimov got to, he got to make it, make it pay. He does all that work to get him on the ropes, and doesn't do enough work, and efficient, uh, efficient work, and to make all that pressure worthwhile. You'd like to see maybe bully him a little bit, put his hands on him. Yeah, I think so. Pulled on that glove and hit him. Yeah, you've got to do some stuff, and move around the body like he, like I've seen him do in the past. Open up the, open up the, you go right in the middle through the, right through the guard there, right through the elbows, with the uppercut or the hook. Like right now, he's worked so hard to get him stationary. Now he does let his hands go a little bit. That's nice. Chris, how do you have it through eight full rounds? Well, I've got Barrett still winning this fight, but Shavkat Rakimov over these last four rounds has made it considerably closer. 77-74 Barrett on my scorecard, but Rakimov's coming, and there's still a lot of time left in this fight. And he, did, he just threw a left hook to the body, or a right hook, I think, just before that to the body. He threw in the last round, the scene you sort of like shake your hand and say, at last, he's, do, he's doing what, what he should be doing. And Barrett is beginning to slow down. That's a good body shot from Barrett. Yeah. Hey, Barrett holding his own here in this toe-to-toe -to -toe fight. But this isn't what's in the game plan, is it, Barry? No, well, Barrett's a tough kid. You know, we talked about his loss against Ronnie Clark, and I was there that night. He was hurt, seriously hurt. And he lost the fight, and he rightly lost the fight, but it was the first time he'd been hurt, first time he'd been in a 12-rounder. It, it was all those first for him, but he dug in, and he got to the end of the, he got to the, end of the fight. And I think that showed, that showed a real heart, that, that you don't know you have until you're in that situation, so he, he won't quit. Barrett's balance isn't quite 100%. It looks like there's something going on with the right leg of Zelfa Barrett. Yeah, you can see he's slowing down, and that means Rakamov is speeding up. But a right hand lands for Barrett, and maybe he's forced here, Chris, to stand and trade. Not good. And down goes Barrett. Yeah, there's something wrong. The legs aren't there, and Rakamov has a chance here to win this fight. Barrett going to stand and trade. He has no choice. What a turn of events here in Abu Dhabi. Shavkat Rakamov. Tremendous heart, though, being shown by Zelfa Barrett. Yeah, the, the towel is coming out in the corner of Zelfa Barrett. Pat Barrett, his uncle and trainer, is sitting on the ring apron ready to throw it in. There oh, it is. He's down. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Nelson calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, two minutes and 35 seconds of round number nine, declaring your winner by TKO and the new IBF Junior Lightweight Champion of the World, Sean.